Hello again, friends of Paulus Hectemeyer uh, Mounted Fencing. Um, part two of our today's session um, Lance versus Helbert, Paulus Hectemeyer, play number six. And it's a very short play. I just try to stab him with a lance, and then he starts doing nasty things, and he will explain what he do. Mm -hmm. So I'm on the way to him yeah. and try to hit him, maybe not the face. I initially target the body because it's a bigger target. So what I do, what I do is I come, uh, I come from, from this stance and make a step forward with my left leg and then I try to hit him with the flat of my, of my axe. Essentially, Paulus Hector, my right, he does a step with his left foot to my right side. Yeah. So you see he steps outwards and now he controls my lance. And from, from here, if I, uh, from here, it's, it's easy to, to overbind him and push him down. And he says, push it down as hard as you can. On the, uh, on the picture, you can see the lance is broken already. And um, it's, yes. it's locked under his arm. So he doesn't get this lance out uh, from under his arm. And it will catapult him from the horse. So you see, you see on the picture, the lance is broken. Maybe the lance is a little bit longer than our point here. So if I shorten our, our lance here and he takes control and I'm in this. Usually I'm, I'm hooked in the lance um, by the shape of the lance. And if he presses me beside them, I've got no chance to get this out of my armpit and out of the, the arrest he describes. I can't open my arm, but it will somehow may push already against me. During the, the, um, the preparation, I had the lance very, very long, and you see this nasty spike, um, it hooked to my jacket, and it really put me backwards. I will, so I will cut this in the video. Yeah, yeah, we may cut, as, I, don't, I think we have it, so we will, we will show them. Um, and the, the point is, I can't do anything anymore. Um, and when he's on the ground, yeah. I can come with my halberd and do as I like. So that's what, what my describes. Maybe we, we just say so there is an appointment. So usually we we try um, we've seen it in the play before to, to overbind with the lance, but then I have a chance to react something. Um, the good point is when he steps, when you do this and try to, to, to put it down or to, to, to release it on the other side. We haven't shown this yet. No? So and now he's in the way of my horse, so he will get yeah, trample down. Yeah. So and if he goes and if he goes outward enough and put the lance here down, then the lance is essentially behind my body already and it's easy to release and I got a free pass beside him and he can't harm me with, with his halberd anymore because I'm essentially gone before he's come up with his with his halberd. So it's it's a nasty thing to have this this pushed down here. And even as more the lance is broken, it's, 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 it's harder the angle gets, as more it pushes me upwards. So I can just hope that it initially breaks somewhere, that I can just have the, the, the last piece of the lance here, and it gets underneath through. But as far the lance you get back, as bigger it gets, it's more stable it gets, so the chance to break it gets very, very small and it will be anywhere forward when it break, breaks where the lance is, is essentially small or thin, thinner in, in the diameter and so that's stable. Yeah, that's Paulo yeah, Sector Maya, yes. play number six, so. short and nasty. Hope you enjoy it.